Hmm. Well. <sighs> I was going to say, last episode, I was glad that we got uh, the revelation about, about Candy. I was just like, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. He didn't actually, you know get hitched it just it was a it was all a play i mean it was very out of character but i figured he could afford a divorce if he had to so easily (laughs) easily and plus if uh it went bad and she was just like i want half and he's just like you want me to show you what you're inheriting half of and he would have like literally shown her hell for like a little bit (laughs) i think that would have been pretty messed up um so yeah um it in all in all seriousness um, you know, the sacrifices that Lucifer has made here recently for Chloe and for and for everyone, basically, it's that's like the other day you were talking about. You went back and watched like the first season of Lucifer. Oh yeah, I did. And the difference in the characters, like the difference in just Maze, the difference in Maze, the difference in Lucifer. Maze and, was a big deal for sure. Yes, um, absolutely. Maze is a tremendously Even just like the huge first deal. episode. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Maze in the first episode. I think I remember that. Amenadiel was so scary in the first episode. Like he came in, he's like he's like a hard ass, and now you know him. You're like, eh, he'll be fine. Well, not well, <laughs> kind of, but at the same time, that defense move that like that big power move that he pulled in Chloe's room to keep her from being moved. Yeah. You know that was just like. He doesn't intimidate like me anymore. Oh no! Because like, well, it's because you know him now. You know more about him. But like that first episode, he pops up and it's like he's trying too hard, kind of thing. Now, when you look back, but at that time, that's who he was. So, yeah. But if he did that same shit, if you go back to the first scene of the show where Amanda's in it, if you were to watch that like and that happened right now, you'd be like, "What the fuck is wrong with him? What the hell?" Yeah. It again. It's just. as the character progressions have gone, I would say probably my favorite character changes have been Maze, most definitely. Probably my most favorite character change. And I would say Amenadiel's up there as well. Yeah. The one who hasn't really changed that much, and it sort of remained the exact same person throughout, Chloe. She's uh, softened a little bit, but not like it's no. not been drastic. There's no been nowhere near the drastic changes with Lucifer or Maze or Amenadiel. Which Amenadiel, his biggest change happened whenever his powers were taken away by God. Yeah, I mean after Amenadiel's like wings deteriorated, it's just like yeah, he's not as well. Chloe's biggest change has been trusting Lucifer, essentially. Yeah, in which. It keeps getting damaged. Her trust just, as soon as she thinks, oh, yeah, I can trust him now, boom, he, like, puts himself on the other yeah. side of the room and just be like, oh, by the way, detective, I uh, did this last time, so, uh, yeah, uh, it looks like we're not going to be trusting each other for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> if that keeps up, I'm just going to be like, oh, for God's sakes. He's cock-blocking him damn self. And I think he's doing it willingly, but at the same time, he can't take social cues to save his life. <laughs> no. God. Anyway, we got the uh, episode queued up here, Deceptive Little Parasites. So, let's go ahead and get this up on screen, and let's see what happens. Here we go. We want someone to incite another stabbing rampage now, would we? Well, it's not my fault humans can't handle the divine. Besides, if I hadn't done that... But it is your fault. <laughs> ...actually is. Right. Maybe Amenadiel should try it. Here, why don't you hold it, and I'll kick you in the... Boys! <laughs> Good play we on words there. to work together on this. We're so close now. God. So the three of you plan to use this flaming sword to cut through the gates of heaven and go home. That's the plan, yes. Do you mean actual gates? Like big and pearly? Are we talking clouds, harps, old dudes in white robes? And my dad is Morgan Freeman. Focus, doctor. I mean, honestly, I'd be curious, too. It'd just be like... We have right? so many interpretations of heaven. I hate that he heaven. never answers her questions. It's like, like, it's, we have so many interpretations of heaven. It would be interesting to hear the perspective of someone who was actually there. You know, someone who tried to take it over, don't get me wrong, but, you know, someone who was at least there and, you know, right. walked through the pearly gates and was then kicked out of them. I mean, you know. Right, look, what I may or may not be hiding is beside the point, Doctor. Either way, I need the sword lit, so come on. Emotions, chop, chop. Come on. You clearly have a lot of walls up, Lucifer. Between yourself and your emotions, and now between yourself and me. 
If you're unwilling to bring those walls down, I can't help you. I mean, it's right. She's right. I mean, if you got your walls up and you're deflecting everything, right. then... Are you okay? What did you do with my roommate? She would never ask about my feelings. Oh, feelings. Now, I was thinking brain tumor, early onset dementia, chlamydia. Wow. Uh, no, yeah. I guess I'm still a little upset that Lucifer just disappeared on me and got married just when we were... You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And sure, he got it annulled right away, but you know, that almost makes it worse. <laughs> She's doing the old immigrant song trick. <sighs> Have you ever done the immigrant song trick? No. Really? No. It's like someone's sitting there complaining to you, and all of a sudden you have your headphones on, and you know the immigrant song is dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun da 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 da. Ah! No, unfortunately. It's like sitting there nodding your head. It's like mm-hmm. My years of call center experience has just led me to hit the mute button and cuss them out. So. So right. Well, that's the thing. You can't do it in like a face to face like conversation. Yeah, I normally just nod, smile, and nod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, do you want to hear a story about this and a story about that? A story about this and a story about that? Just sitting there and just like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Mm hmm. Oh, cool. And when they say a name, it's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, them. Oh, yeah. my mom's for mad I forgot to vacuum the driveway. I have to go. Like, I, I don't listen, but I, I just block them out. It's like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at my wrist. It's time to go. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to adopt a dozen puppies and I'm going to let them sleep in your bedroom. <laughs> Nice, Maze. Come on. Nice. I'm sorry. Okay, I can't deal with human emotions on an empty stomach. Makes me nauseous. Thank you. Of course. What did I expect? Damn. I mean, Maze is a demon, so, you know. Tall, non-fat, almond milk latte with sugar-free caramel drizzle and no vodka this time. How could a career in education pay for all this? LA well, private schools are insane. You know, money gets thrown around. What do we have? A lot well, of money. Poor Debbie was stabbed in the back. Literally. Maybe figuratively, too. There's no sign of the BNE which suggests she knew who her killer was. Therapists don't really know anything, do they? Ooh, Lucifer's projecting his personal issues on the case. Guess we're back to normal. <laughs> oh, man, I got into it with my shrink a couple of weeks ago. What, you see a psychologist? I know. You wouldn't think so, right? Because I'm so upbeat all the time. But up here, a lot of darkness. Really? Hey, guys. Damn it. What's this? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> well, where do I start? Scissors. You know, Debbie was the best head of admissions we've ever had. The heart and soul of the Stafford community. We're all devastated. <laughs> Is there any way we could see her office or the last few things she was working on? Sure. No phones on campus. It sends a message that our arms aren't actually available to our children. Right. Our children learn to manage their emotions in no time. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Let the schooling begin. <laughs> Damn it. Well, shit. <sighs> so, Debbie, did she have any enemies here at work that you know of? You see, our faculty practices the same conflict resolution method as our children. People in a conflict actually present handmade gifts to one another. This was Debbie's desk, and as you can see, not a single macrame. Come on. Well, perhaps She's good at there was it one up. incident. Debbie did get into a rather ugly fight with uh, the parents of a child who had been denied admission. It got vicious. Oh, fisticuffs. Beat down at the bike sheds after the final bell. No, verbally vicious. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, terrible grammar. Gotcha. Did you see the fight? Well, everyone saw it. It happened right in front of the school, violating what we like to think of as our safe space here at Stafford. What was said? Oh, boy. I will kill you. She had the gall to suggest that the school hadn't received the donation, but the check cleared. Lying. 
<clears throat> I know my husband's temper suggests otherwise, but we're dealing with this the civilized way. Through our lawyer, we could never kill anyone. Then can you explain why the murder weapon was found in your pool house? Ouch. That's... We're fire I was going to say, that's to me, that's a bit too convenient. It, because I mean, it definitely is. Because <laughs> the, the thing is, that's clean cut and dry. You give them motive. If they don't have any other person to provide alibi other than each other... Then yeah, that's basically like open and shut right there. Whereas to me, you know, providing the modus operandi to them, and then providing the murder weapon in a place where you know you would conspicuously hide something. I mean, well, yeah. luckily it's Chloe on the case. So. Thankfully, yeah, and she's actually. I know there's people. There's actually people I've I've read in some of the comments like they shit on chloe for being so like so like straightforward and i'm just like she's a good detective she always gets to the bottom of it so. that's the thing she's she may be headstrong and she may be absolutely you know tone deaf when it comes to certain things but she cares she actually wants to do a good job as a detective yeah this morning are you under arrest <laughs> i am now am i on what charge ladies he's resisting arrest Cousin. My pleasure. Right, why do you sexy detectives look so disturbingly familiar? Oh. Mum! Mum, come on! Come on out from wherever you're snooping! Ladies, I'm sorry, but uh, it's hard for me to enjoy a triple decker with my mum's hands all over it. So. Uh, oh. Oh. oh! That was the worst joke. Oh! God dang it. Okay, look. Uh, if her last name wasn't Decker, I would have let it slide. But... I, same. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that, that joke was just Whoever too on the Whoever came up with that is very proud of themselves. I think the head writer of this whole series, uh, Tom Kofinos, he loves puns like that. I've noticed them a lot in, in this show. But, okay, here's one thing for you. I actually came to this conclusion the other night. Um, it would be, it was a, you know, Chloe is still trying to figure out the relationship between Lucifer and Charlotte Richards, like, you know, yeah. uh, his mother. And I was going to say, uh, he refers to him, he refers to Charlotte as his mother. And I guarantee you, Chloe would just be like, look, was she in some sort of like, like uh, you call her like your mother, like, did she marry your father and like, and just like, break and did, did, was there like a bad divorce and you just kept calling her mother? Uh, it's like, it's like, did she screw your father? And it's just like, actually detective, that's pretty on the nose. <laughs> cause it's just like, cause yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he could explain it that way. Well, because the thing is he can't lie. So it worked. <laughs> gosh. Another time, maybe. Shame. Mike Costa and Julie Fontana. Okay, they were the writers. You'd understand if you had children, many of which you haven't seen in a millennia. Yes. That's it, Mom. You're right. I need to have a child. Oh. Right. The gander at that. See if you can learn a few things. <laughs> oh, okay. I am gonna tie a bell around your neck at some point. Oh, sounds like a fun bit of foreplay, but I have more important things to attend to first. Yeah, I'm sure you do, but hold on. <laughs> Can I borrow your kid? Me. The killer wiped the fingerprints off the handle, but not Debbie's blood from the blade. But Debbie told them the school never received their money. Oh, so she's lying. But what if she wasn't lying? What if somebody embezzled the money at the school? Debbie could have found out, she could have confronted them, and they could be the killer. So, you know. What if Debbie was working with somebody on the embezzlement and. No, I don't know, even know if Debbie was involved. Maybe? Maybe she found out about it because and of she, what and happened. she was going to confront the so person. So it's probably about that it. head guy that was super weird. Maybe either that or someone else that they're going to run into. We'll see. Yeah. What we got to do check the books, see if there's a record of the donation. Why don't you go and deal with the donation thingy, and I can uh, take the little sugar plum fairy to school. Are you sure? 
For my partner, yes, I can sacrifice. You okay with that? Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. In the in the Corvette with the top down. Yes. You're gonna be in trouble if my mom finds out. Here for the Starford tour. I am indeed. I am indeed. And this little creature, who gets whatever she wants. Tracy Morningstar. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi. <laughs> ah, lovely. Oh. oh boy. This is going to end terribly. <laughs> if she gets into the school, though. <laughs> yeah, if she gets into the school, if they admit her, and they're just like, oh, Mr. Morningstar, she's glorious. She's tremendous. She's so smart. We want it. We want, we'll, like, we will pay. We'll give her a scholarship to go here. And Lucifer's just like, oh, no. It's like, uh -oh. the, and then it's just like, hey, Chloe, I pulled some strings and got her in at Starford. Congrats. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, well, right here, this is the uh, meditation room. Um, and the Dream catchers. Is, uh, that's where the kids do their justice service. Right, I need you to show me where they teach lessons on controlling your emotions. Oh, God. Oh, she's having emotional problems. Who? Oh, the child. Sure. Probably. Listen, what would be really helpful is <laughs> turning feelings into something, like a weapon. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Wow. So much wrong thing going on here. It's like, I want to turn my emotions into a weapon. It's just like, you're in a school talking about turning your emotions into a weapon. My dude. He has no idea. Calm it. Calm it. Easy there, Columbine. Uh, yeah. Oh, Nate. <laughs> what? My sister and her friends called me that for years. Why? Because as a joke one time, they were having a sleepover, and I was trying to act all funny and shit. And, you know, they were all, like, acting all scared because they were watching a horror movie. And I came downstairs with my BB gun. I was just like, if they want to get through y'all, they got to go through me. Just trying to be funny. And all of a sudden, they started calling me Columbine. I was it's just, not even, like, the same, but okay. <laughs> no, it's not. It made no sense. Such a dumb name. But they called me that for years. I know, that's pro I know that would be considered problematic now, but back then, people get didn't really give a shit. Trixie! <laughs> Come on, child! <laughs> I knew it. You got me. No need to look at the books. I well, did. I was it. wrong. <laughs> the donation not him. never made it into the school account. I cashed the check. You stole the money. Why? I guess I was tired of feeling like I didn't belong. Starford seemed so non judgmental and inclusive. But I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure to look a certain way, drive a certain car. I'm so sorry. Look, we're not real sure if John and Craig killed Debbie. Really? Oh, if it's not related to the murders after all, um, perhaps we could disregard that last exchange. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I'm afraid not, because y'all just... You just revealed everything. Is everything okay in here? Sound like a child was crying. We're just asking the assistant dean some questions. Uh, I am Detective Decker. This is oh, Detective. Oh, you're Trixie's cop mom, aren't you? That's a great kid you've got. Thank you. H how do you know? How do you know my daughter? Uh, she's in Madison's class right now. Yeah, her father brought her in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, Dan's face. He's just like, I did what now? Huh? Huh? Um, uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't. But the good news is, bad feelings can be harnessed into good actions. My son Ranger knows this, right, Ranger? Oh, 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 oh. Like <laughs> He's a booger it? eater. Would any of the Trixie, do you have feelings you want to use? I know it's only your first time, but I feel sad. Okay, why? Because. My mommy almost died. Her job is scary. But she has helped so many other people with their problems. I don't want her to worry about mine. So pretend I'm okay. Well, welcome to the club of parental deceit, child. Okay, go on. For example, she could 
write a poem. A poem? I came yes. here to learn how to turn emotions into energy, expression. not to become Dr. Zeus. And if I wanted to attend an art class, I would have at least had the sense to take one with a nude model. Now, I suppose you're channeling emotional despair over not getting dessert before your veggies, are you? No. This is a picture of my mommy stabbing Debbie. Ho ho! Ho ho Detective! Right, before you chastise me for kidnapping your offspring, I've solved the case. <laughs> it worked out, so... Okay, the boy's mother is mm -hmm. Joy Sherman. This is her contact info. You need to understand, I'm dealing with the most challenging issue. Yeah, I want issue. to talk to my daughter for a second. Please don't be mad at him. I should be the one in trouble. I'm not mad at you. You're not in trouble, monkey. But I do want you to know, you can talk to me if something's going on. I know. You know that? Do you want to talk about something now? I could tell you anything. Yes. She wants to talk I'd to like Dave. to ride with Lucifer. You are lucky. My daughter likes you so much. Yes. I'm starting to respect the deceptive little parasite. <laughs> Why is oh, she getting in the nice. driver's seat? <laughs> Speaking of. Why not? The deal's a deal. What? Whoa! Whoa! No! I... Is that gonna be her <laughs> car now? <laughs> Why not? I mean, hell, it's a great car. It's a Chevy Corvette. It's a classic one. Oh, kids. Come on then. I fancy a bit of exercise after a frustrating day. That's not a normal mugger. I think that's a divine one. A divine one. Oh, I know who it is. Is it Asriel? No. It wants the blade. Mom. Let me see the blade. Anything? Damn it. Okay. I thought it would be Asriel, because, you know, because that's the thing. We keep hearing about Asriel's blade, Asriel's blade, Asriel's blade. You'd think Asriel would be like, where the fuck is my blade, bro? So you said that you killed Debbie. No, I, I said I wanted to kill her every morning while peeling the sticker off some root vegetable I got at the supermarket for a third of the price of the organic crap. Rubbing it in dirt works like a charm, by the way. Why would you say that to him? Because I'm single and I work full time and Debbie had a million little ways of making me feel like a bad mom because of it. For working? Uh, I, was, I was with Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor, the wellness mentor. The fi oh, the fitness doing? coach. We weren't discussing the French New Wave. So you're having an affair with the, with the PE teacher. Every mom at Starford knows that the movement and wellness program is one of the best benefits of the school. I mean, the man is as For who the... as a box of hair. Oh. I was going to say, who's it beneficial to, the kids or the mothers? The mothers? Apparently so. Jesus. I am going to a grieving gathering at the school. And, well, you should see the other parents. They are... Very fancy. It's. Mm -hmm. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to make you sick with my feelings. No. Come on. I'm listening. I promise. No more earbuds. Fancy pants, rich kids are like vipers. Okay, Trixie will learn to slash them with her words, and I will teach her the knives. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think I know you're trying to help, but uh, I don't think you can help me with with this now. <laughs> I mean, I teach. Here's the thing: if I have a daughter, I'm teaching her how to use a knife. I'm sorry, but as much as I want to take the world as how I want it to be, you know, idealistic and you know, filled with love and everything, and you know, like, oh, everyone out there cares about you. No, there are very advantageous, very mean, and very malicious people who will try and take everything they can from you. And when it comes to it, you need to know how to fight. And if I have a daughter, I am teaching her how, know how to throw a punch. I'm teaching her where to punch, where to kick, where to claw, and also where to stab, just in case, you know, someone decides to get a little too handsy. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, I mean, the world can go fuck itself whenever it comes to, you know, it's like, oh, the world's, the world, don't get me wrong, the world's a beautiful place, it's a, filled with great people, but... Pretending all those people are perfect? Mm-mm. I'm not that stupid. Just me. 
Alone. Yeah. <laughs> single mother, single parent. That must be difficult. Actually, she's with me. Hello. Oh, two mommies? Oh, hell yeah. Inclusivity. <laughs> That's the... The thing is, uh, I know that schools like that, they look at their inclusivity quotas and they're just like, okay, we have a black child, an Asian child, a white child. We have, they guarantee you that's what they do. Right. Just to make it look like they give a shit. And full. Definitely a two woman job. Right, honey? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Mace! She's a homicide detective. She has a gun and everything. Real pistol in the sack. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, jokes. I wish I had time for a job, but you know what they say. Exceptional child, exhausted mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I've never heard anyone say that since. When that woman walked in, the entire room started commenting on her cheek filler. Wow. They're miserable and waiting to tear each other apart. Actually, reminds me of home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him something to talk about. Get it? Don't do that. <laughs> Mom was right. I can't make it work. Ah, I see. You're up here practicing a different kind of self-flagellation, are you? Hoping for a celestial spark. You don't even have your powers. Yeah, thanks for that reminder, Lucy. Same old Lucy, always the victim. Can't you just be grateful? For once, you're the light bringer. Am I? Am I indeed? Because so far, it's just mum's word against, well, reality. What if she's wrong, brother? But she's been acting very odd recently. On edge. You, uh, call this pate, huh? <laughs> I know, right? You know, say what you will about Debbie, but that woman knew how to cater a party. You're married to that cop, right? Yeah. Actually, can you keep a secret? My wife is very close to making an arrest. We think the killer might actually be here. Oh, but keep that on the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Get the rumor mill is spinning and the rats go running. Five gossips down, a couple more to be safe. Oh, look, this is plenty. Let's hope they take the bait. Oh, it's her. No, 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 don't break, don't break the window of the car. Ah. Hey, that's the person I'm looking for. Lucifer. What are you doing? Um, Madison said she needed something from your car. What? Oh. She's the killer. <laughs> That's quite a leap, detective. No, it isn't. Lucifer, please shoot me. You got the key Stay fob back. in his hand. She'll see it. She's like, really? Stay back! Madison, put down the gun. This is all your fault! With your stupid handsome face and your... Chiseled abs and you're huge. You slept with the PE teacher too? Well, the movement and wellness mentor detective, but Madison, yeah, yeah. if I what's the difference? anything here tonight, it's that everyone here has secrets. No one's perfect, okay? Oh. So please, Madison, put down the gun. I'm so sorry. I, I got so angry, I couldn't control myself. Hold on. All this talk about controlling your emotions and harnessing them for creation was all just a sham. I, I tried so hard to make it real. Uh. We can't control our emotions. We just have to keep trying. Whoa. Oh. Maze. <laughs> Sweet tackle, Maze. Listening to feelings, it's not my thing. Right, honey? Good so tackle. You, I take my child out of this school. Terrible place. Ouch. Wait. I'm a father? Uh, he's stupid. <laughs> as much as... Oh, he's my God. stupid. <laughs> That's the point. That's the whole point. That's why Ranger's so stupid. That really stupid. went full circle. It did. Uh. <laughs> I love it.
love it. I freaking love it. That was clever. Oh, right. that was super clever. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, such such an idiot. Guess what I found out? What? That the other mommies, they were just as worried as I was. And they were just pretending to be perfect. That's and what everyone pretend. does. No. Everyone fakes it. Everyone like like that's one thing my dad told me a long time ago. It's like most people fake it through life. Those who don't have like an infinite amount of money at their disposal, even those who do have a shit ton of money at their disposal, most of them are just faking it too. They're faking like they give a shit. They're faking like they actually care. They're faking like they actually uh, you know um, you know want, uh, have it all together. When in truth, most people don't. I don't have the energy to fake it. <sighs> Neither do no, I. No, monkey. I mean, sometimes people feel like... <sighs> like they have to pretend that everything's okay. I plan on kicking mum into heaven and slamming the gates on her backside. But she'll be trapped there, on her own. Won't God destroy her? Hopefully they tear each other apart, then they'll both get what they deserve. What's that? Punishment. For manipulating me. I mean, Dad set a trap for me, but Mum was the one who made sure that I fell into it. She was the one that made sure that I felt... Say it. That I... Oh, That's what you've been suppressing. All the pain and heartbreak that you have over what happened with your mother. And Chloe. Mm -hmm. I know it's difficult. But the only way to get over that pain is to go through it. Channel it. And you can hear the blade. There it goes. Fix it. There's plenty of time. <sighs> of no, there course. Isn't. You're right, son. There's plenty of time. Cool. No, no. No, there isn't. Ooh. <gasps> Just not for me. That's what I figured. I mean, the divine, well, <clears throat> you got to think when it comes to occupying certain, like, even, even the movie, uh, dogma, you know, portray had the portrayal of though, you know, the entities such as like God, like the, like the <laughs> high divine beings are not able to be within mortal form for lo for too long. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, a tremendous amount of power like that being confined into one, like, fleshy mortal being. I mean, Jesus. And I'm thinking, you know, uh, I'll say this, at least Lucifer got the blade to light up. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's a, that's a step in the right direction. He's starting to handle his, his emotions right. It's just... He needs a little bit more time. And I think... Uh, I think if Lucifer knew that her body was starting to fade, that that would actually make him happy. He would just be like, oh, so you're going back no matter what. Good! Yeah, I don't think it'd help him with trying to get it hop tapping sooner, though, so... I think it would throw him off a little bit. That's true. Cause, yeah. So that's probably why she hasn't wanted to know. He's he's throwing himself emotionally too much into one direction. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it it would, would just, be it would just uh, end up 
bringing him a little too far the other way. I think so, too. I think that would be... It'd be more of a detriment than it would be an advantage. Yes. Well, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to see how, how it plays out in the next episode. And we're nearing the end of the second season. How many episodes are in this season? Uh, 18. So we have three more, af- uh, three more after this one. Yeah. So we'll finish season two next time. Yes, we will. Ain't that something? Huh. <laughs> and then uh, I think season three and on are the ones that were produced by Netflix completely. I think it's four. Actually, you may be right. Google it. <laughs> Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. I almost want to say it was only season five, but I feel like that's wrong, and they did season four, too. I'm Lu- not feeling confident Lucifer, in my TV feelings theory. on that. Okay, list of episodes. Let's not spoil anything for ourselves. Oh, okay, it was season four. Oh, so I was right. Season four and on has been Netflix. And the fina- and the final season, ten episodes worth of uh, season six, will be here September. Oh, my God. Th- season September. three is 26 episodes. Uh, I really hate long seasons of shows. Let's see. Let me... Let me <sighs> Uh, look, let me look at like what the critics at least said about it. Season three, season three, one hundred percent. Okay. So it's season two. Mm-hmm. And this has been a good. Wow, season, season one was really, really bad. Yeah, <laughs> very bad. Jesus. Huh. Like I can't believe they got a season two after that. Really. <laughs> I guess it was enough to justify. For season you wondering, two. it's less than fifty percent. <laughs> I yeah. It's like forty nine. Wow. Like, that's really fucking bad. I don't know of anything else that low that I can think of immediately. Me neither. But when it went to Netflix... Oh, season five is the only one that doesn't have 100 after that, though. That's weird. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was because it was split in half because of the pandemic. Uh, The pandemic fucked up Good Girls, too, so... Oh, that's right. You know, I... Yeah, it was split in half because of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. because... Look at that. Oh, that had to suck. Uh, as speaking from Good Girls, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Good Girls has gone the way of the dodo. I'm so upset. And so is Christina Hendricks, your woman, and Mae Whitman. Yeah, yeah, they're all they're all pretty upset. I would be too. I mean, they it's had a, a good, good show on their hands. Show. They had a great show on their hands. I really hope someone picks it up. They tried to get it with Netflix. Apparently, that fell through. I hope it like somehow works out later. It, maybe if they shop with like the Paramount Network, you know, one of the you know one Paramount of the Paramount Plus is kind of picking up a little. Oh yeah, more and more people are picking that up. I'm actually going to be getting that here soon. I'm going to try and watch Yellowstone because I wanted to watch Yellowstone for a long time. Uh, and plus, my mom and my mom is wanting to get Blake into Yellowstone because it's got basically everything he likes. Cowboys, um, you know, government, uh, you know, like fighting against the government, fighting against like, like it's a modern Western. It's very weird. Well, when they did the iCarly reboot, I got a trial and I watched like those three episodes that they launched. At first. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen the rest, but like, I yeah, I, I, I would avoid certain things. Like I'm going to avoid the hell out of the Rugrats. Yeah, the Rugrats uh, freaks me out. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> why they look like that? It doesn't even look better. No. It just looks bad. It, it looks horrible. It's horrible. Uh, it's a nightmare. I don't like that style. I wish I it didn't exist. Okay, well. I'm okay with the Rugrats reboot, but not like that. No. No. I can't watch that. I can't either. Well, speaking of, we got to move on to the next thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and bring this episode to a close. Uh, This was Deceptive Little Parasite, Season 2, Episode 15 of Lucifer. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you all in the next one. So I guess until then, I'm Nate. I'm Quinn. We'll see you, everybody.